Hi guys, what's up and welcome back to my channel. My name is Riley if you're new here and today we are obviously in the salon. Today I'm going to be showing you how I organize my cabinets and how I organize my products in the back. Just before we get started, I wanted to say that I get so many questions on the storage and I want to say that number one, this is not my salon. It is so beautiful and I wish I could say that I created this, but I did not. I just rent a booth here. In my opinion, I think it's the prettiest salon in the town that I live in. I feel so lucky that I get to work in this space. So because I do not own this, I do not know where a lot of the furniture is from. I get asked that a lot. I do know that a lot of it is from Ikea. Hopefully you can find some things on there. So before we begin, we are gonna be starting out here in my cabinet. I kind of wanted to explain to you guys how I divide things up. The stuff that I put out here is mainly stuff that I wanna use on my clients right away, like brushes, clips, my shears, acrylic iron. It's all stuff that I wanna have really easy access to. So that is how I organize it and then in the back, I normally put my product. Bleach and toners, all that fun stuff is what I keep in the back. So with that being said, let's get started and let me show you my organization. So first, I'm going to be starting up here with just my little product station. So of course, I have my business cards right here and then I also have a little extension care card. This just has like some information about how to take care of your extensions and what to do when you go to bed, stuff like that. And then I have all of my favorite styling products that I like to use. I have a lot of IGK. I have, of course, my It's a 10, Arnco, Kenra, more IGK texture spray. And here is my favorite of all time, my Kenra blow dry spray. And then I also have a bedhead hairspray that I absolutely love. And then I just have a little water bottle right here for my extension installs. And then this little thing came with my Dyson blow dryer. I just set my hot tools on there so it doesn't make like any marks in the wood. I like to keep my license and my business license here. Obviously, I don't want to show you guys that so I moved it over but I do usually keep that right over here moving on to my first drawer I am not the most organized but I like to think I am so I try my best I have this little middle console just for like anything miscellaneous so I just have my little thing that like gets the hair out of my brushes some Olaplex and then also like a spray disinfectant throughout the day I like to put my dirty tools in this and then I'll just cover it at the end of the day I will clean them all so this is pretty much my grab and go drawer this stuff I'm using constantly. I'm constantly grabbing things out of here. I definitely use all of this on a daily basis. So I like to keep it on the top. Like I said, I literally use this all day. So this is the first little bin. This is probably the one I use the most. In this little container right here, I keep all of my combs. So I have the long pintail combs. I love those. I have some regular combs. Honestly, everything but mostly long pintail combs. Those are definitely my favorite. And then in this one, obviously, I have all of my clips. Some are from Framar, some are from Wet Brush. I have a lot of clips in there. I definitely use these all the time, so they are very handy. And then I just keep my shears right here. Nice and handy and easy to grab. This is where I keep my brushes. So this is obviously not a brush, but I do like to use this just to comb out the curls after I've curled their hair, so I just keep that really accessible. This is my favorite round brush. It is by the brand Epic Professional. And then I have lots of wet Wet brushes in here you can never have too many wet brushes and then I do keep a little mirror right here just so I can show my clients their hair from the back after I'm all done with it and that is the top drawer so let's move on to the second this is definitely the most chaotic and full drawer usually I keep my blow dryer out but when I am working I set it up here just because I'm using it all day long so this is my little hot tools basket I like to keep my curling irons my straightener when I'm working throughout the day I do keep at least one curling iron just out on my station. So this is my foil drawer. And yes, I have a lot of foil. And yes, I promise I use all of it. I just like to stock up on it because they go out of stock like crazy. This is my balayage board and I swear by this thing. And then I have various forms of foil. I have lots of the from our star struck silver embossed sheets. And then I also have the silver pop-up sheets. And then I have this little bin right here that just has some extra foils in it. Honestly, I don't really know why I have those because I don't really use them. So this is the foil drawer. It does the job and it's perfect for me. Now, the last and final drawer is actually missing a lot of stuff, but this is what I like to call my extension drawer. This big bin right here just has all of my clients' extension hair in it. And then this is just all like bobby pins, some extension tools. But like I said, I'm actually missing my whole extension kit because I took it home to practice. I'm actually planning on making a whole video of my extension organization so that 
that will be coming soon. Stay tuned for the rest of it. So that is what is in my three drawers. I just like to keep stuff that I know I'm gonna need on hand and I don't wanna run to the back to get. So that is what I keep in those drawers. Now let's go to the back so I can show you what I keep in my storage. Okay, so this is my locker that I get and honestly, it is so big. I have never had one so big at a salon before. This is my tray that I like to use. This is my apron and a little cardigan I keep here just in case it gets cold. I really need to get a new one. That's kind of disgusting. Okay, so this is my cabinet. As you can see, it's not super organized, but it works for me. I am just super busy and on the move all day long. So we're just gonna start right on the top. These are all of my permanent colors. I do not do permanent colors very often, so I really just keep the essentials as well as just what my regular clients get. And then I also have some demi-permanents that I have yet to try and use, but I want to. And then I also just have random color in here. So some demi-permanents, some stuff from like Wella. I have a Malibu CPR, bobby pins, literally just random stuff that I don't reach for very often. And then this is where I keep my bleaches. So right now I'm using Wella Blonde Door. I'm using, of course, my favorite Blonde Me by Schwarzkopf. And then I do have some Lightmaster because I'm out of my Schwarzkopf 20 developer. And they are back ordered everywhere. I can't find it. So this is like the second strongest bleach that I know and use. So I did buy some of this just to have until I get my lovely 20 volume back. So these are my Blonde Me developers here on the second row. And I actually keep all of my developers on this row. So these are all seven volume. I literally don't have a single 20 volume, which is what I usually use. I have lots of those, but I don't have any 20. And then I have my Wella Blonde Door. I have 10 and 20. Then I have my little matrix one. So I have a 20 and then a 10 just to have. And then I have my Redken shades. So I love the gloss to gel. I use this for rooting, root melting, all sorts of stuff. So I have two of those. And then I also have two of the Shades EQ, just the processing solution gloss. So that is the second row. Now this row just happens to be my favorite and it is all of my toners. So I have some Schwarzkopf toners back here that I have honestly never tried before. I got them for free. So they're kind of just chilling in the back. But here are all my shades EQ and it looks chaotic but I promise they're all organized. It's an organized mess if you will. So over here I have all of my tens and as you can see they are labeled and then I have my nines in this one and this one. I have lots of nines because I just go through them so often. This one is full of eights. These two are sevens. This row right here are sixes. I buy the ends in groups of six so I just keep them in the box and then I know once the box is gone I need to get another one. So here are my six ends and then here are all of my fours and my fives which I don't have very many of. I'm now realizing how many I have. It's kind of a problem but I use them for literally everything so very necessary. And then here is the final little shell. So I keep this over here. It's just full of like deodorant. There's like a tea. I think there's some hand sanitizer, some gum, just like a little personalized corner for me. And then I have some gloves, some extra foils, the backwards bit from Framar. I keep my little reusable salon centric bag. Here is some extra extension stuff. This is what I used when I was certified in my old method, which was the habit method. So here's like some beads, some string, my tools, some threaders, and then some extra clips. I don't really use any of that, so that is why it is back here and not at my regular station. Here is an extra little bin just in case I need it or want to organize. I have a little label maker. This is super handy just to label all of my stuff. Some um, extension organization stuff. I have a scale and then this is my invisible bead little travel kit So I just store it over here and then I have a little section back here for products So I have a few purple shampoos a blue shampoo a little mask that I got most of this stuff either gets sent to me Or I just like to keep here just to have so this is the last little shelf on my product storage I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and seeing around the salon that I work in don't forget to follow me on Instagram where we we can connect there and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys.